हेलो लर्नर्स आई वेलकम यू अगेन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मेटम ऑफिस एंड इन माई सीरीज ऑफ द मेजर बुक फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ नेट दैट इज एम एच अब्राम्स एंड दिस इज अज दैट एम एच अब्राम्स विद नागेंद्र एंड टूडे आई एम टेकिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म विच इज कॉल्ड डिसोसिएशन ऑफ सेंसिबिलिटी this is really very important term from the point of view of understanding literature in a deep way as well as if you want to prepare because this term keep on coming while you are going through certain topics or articles or anything regarding literature or any critical theory and it keeps on haunting your mind that what actually dissociation of sensibility is so let me introduce this point and basic concept i am going to introduce so that you can Uh, just to weave your thoughts on the basis of that further so let us start so this is the term dissociation of sensibility which was introduced by t s eliot in his essay the metaphysical poets in 1921 mind students that this is very important you have to cram that which essay or which article or which book the major topics are actually occurring in why because i was going through certain youtubes that people were just uh, misguiding you and they were telling wrong names in that like i told you that in affective fallacy i told you the name of the essay so in some youtube it was uh, being told wrong name in which that affective fallacy was there or uh, the same way in objective correlative particularly they were telling wrong name so it is very important to know the proper and the correct name of the essay so the essay was the metaphysical poets and this was dissociation of sensibility which occurred in this then what is this dissociation of sensibility and how it uh, was introduced by ts eliot let us know ts eliot says that john dun and other metaphysical poets of early 17th century mind that early 17th century is very important here early 17th century they have a kind of sensibility in their poems in their all the creations and what that sensibility was that we will talk what that sen sensibility was sensibility means they could think as well as feel at the same time means there were element of thinking and feeling together imbibed in their poetry or in their works while what happened that after you know in the later part of the 17th century this very sensibility of thinking and feeling together actually was dissociated and all the poets after this so late in the late in the initial part of the 17th century whoever came they have actually dissociated both the things in their poem either they could only think or they could only feel so either you could find some element of thinking on their poem or you could find some element of emotions but not unified in a unified way in a holistic way and this very term was called dissociation of sensibility they say that it was a dissociation of intellect from emotions and sensuous perception so these metaphysical poets and some of the elizabethan uh, dramatists also they have this very feeling that they could think as well as feel at the same time in their all the creations thinking as well as emotions and per sensuous perception were very nicely intermingled together but after that dissociation of sensibility occurred and it remained till w b yeats so it is started the major figure which were supposed to be responsible according to t s eliot were milton and dryden and they were responsible for bringing this dissociation of sensibility and this was actually a uh that they say that metaphysical poets actually possessed a mechanism of sensibility which could deliver any kind of experience so now the major question arises here which is very important that what made to happen this dissociation of sensibility after that 17th century so i would like to suggest to you a very important point that actually at that time you know this was the age of enlightenment also people were turning towards scientific thoughts 
science inventions were coming and the whole focus was towards reasoning and logic as you know that it was totally the age of reasoning and after that age of reasoning came science inventions were there formation of royal society was there so all these things were actually forcing all those creations to be only focused towards the thought part the thinking part and some poets were trying to do it uh, with full of emotions so they were actually failing to intermingle they were either moving towards only feeling part or towards thinking part so they were unable to maintain the both things thinking as well as feeling together so intermingling that proper blending was lacking and that's why that's how it is known as dissociation of sensibility and T.S. Eliot actually gave it in this essay and he says that it is because that the metaphysical poetry was immensely immensely intellectual and immensely powerful and that's why he also revived this metaphysical poetry in the 20th century so this was all about dissociation of sensibility i hope you liked it and you will keep liking and sharing in my youtube channel whatever is being described thank you i am very thankful for your comment and your all the responses which are pouring in thank you thanks thanks a lot and have a nice day